Pulak Kasam Ritation Suresh participated in a tournament comprising eight rounds. In each round, they formed two pairs, with each of them being in exactly one pair. The only restriction in the pairing was that the pairs would change in successive rounds. So, in round one, if P and Q play, round two, P and Q cannot play. For example, if Pulak formed a pair with Kasam in the first round, then he would have to form a pair with Ritesh or Suresh in the second round. He would be free to pair with Kasim again in the third round. That's fine. In each round, each pair decided whether to play the game in that round or not. They decided not to play, then no money was exchanged between them. If they decided to play, they had to bet either one or two in that round. For example, if they chose to bet two, then the player winning the game got two rupees from the one losing the game. So, two people play the game, it could be either plus two, minus two, plus one, minus one, or no, no money exchanged. Usually the status of the game. They can say, look, I'm not playing. Zero. At the beginning of the tournament, the players had rupees 10 each. The following table shows partial information about the amount that the players had at the end of the eight rounds. At the end of each of the eight rounds. Right? It shows every time a player had rupees 10 at the end of a round, as well as every time at the end of a round, a player had either the max minimum or the maximum amount that he would have had across the eight rounds. Right? Let's look at this table. Pulak says 13, 10, 13, 8, 10, 10, 12, 10, 4, 10, 8, 10, 13, 10. Some numbers have been filled. What you have here is each round, if it was 10, we would have the information. If it is a maximum that player has got across 8 rounds, we'll have the information. If it is a minimum the player has got across 8 rounds, we'll have the information. All three will have. For example, Suresh had rupees 10 at the end of rounds 1, 3 and 8 and not after any of the other rounds. All the 10 rupee rounds will know. All the maximum ones will know. All the minimum ones will know. The maximum one that he had at the end of any round was 13 at the end of round 5. And the minimum he had was at 8 at the end of round 8. 10, 10, 10, 8, 13. 13 is the maximum, 8 is the minimum. At the end of all other rounds, he must have had either a 9, 11 or a 12. Between 12 and 8 and not 10. It was also known that Pulak and Kasim had the same amount of money with them at the end of round 4. X and X, that's what we have put. Rest of the information is already available. We know this is X and X. We know X is not 10. That much we know. Because if it were 10, we would have got the information. X is not 13 either. X is not 8 or 12. 8 is the minimum, 12 is the maximum. It's either 9 or 11. One of these two. Not 10. It's 9 or 11, that much we know. Right. Let us fill the maximum and minimum first. This is max. This is the maximum. 10 happens to be the minimum. Right. This is the minimum. This is the maximum. 10, 10. This is 10 itself is the maximum. 4 is the minimum. 13 is the max. 8 is the minimum. Fine. At the, each round, at the beginning, each of them had 10, 10, 10, 10. At each round, the total should be the same 40. Why? Money goes from one person to another. If one case increases, another case decreases. Total should be 40. Using that, we can say 10 plus 10, 20. 28. This is 12. 13 plus 8, 21. 31. This is 9. 10, 10, 20, 13, 7. These numbers we can fill. And so the maximum and minimum we can fill. We can fill the obvious numbers up. 12, 9, 7. Got so far. Right. Then what can we do after this? What can we say about X? And so X is more than 10. How do we know it's more than 10? We don't know it's more than 10. It could be less than 10 also. This is X. This is X. X could be 9 or 11. And so, but 10 is the minimum, so it cannot be 9. And X cannot be 12, because 12 is the maximum here. If it were 12, we would have had 12. Or X has to be 11. Nice, brilliant. So we can just put 11. So this is 11, 11. Nice, so far so good. From 11, 11, We've gone to 10, 10. Both these fellows have lost. 11 became 10, 11 became 10. So in round 5, both lost. That means in round 5, 
these two fellows should have won and they should have won one rupee one rupee each or this is six this is twelve nice so we've got day round one completely done round two completely done round four completely done round five completely done around three we need to figure out something round six seven eight we need to figure out nice let's go to round seven because we can come from here this is the maximum 12 this is 4 12 plus 4 is 16 the other two add up to 24 that's a high number this could be 12 or 11 or 9 it cannot be 10 that we know but if it were 9 this has to be 15 but 13 is the maximum so it's either 12 or 11 not more than that this where 12 is allowed to be 12 12 plus 12 24 if it was 11 this has to be 13 and so so this number this is these two adding up to 16 the other two should add up to 24 this is either 12 or 11 this should be either 12 or 13 it cannot be 13 13 is the maximum it can maximum be 12 it cannot be 13 this way 12 12 plus 12 24 plus 4 28 12. nice so we fill this also 12 12 4 12 this is the minimum 12 goes to 10 12 goes to 13 and then we figure out the rest nice we can even figure out round 8 now how so let's say this increases by 1 this decreases by 2 one of these two should decrease this increases by 1 so we should have 1 falling by 1 that decreases by 2 increasing by 2 this is a minimum so this should become 6 this is a maximum this should become 11 13 plus 11 24 plus 6 30 40 lovely so we got round 1 round 2 round 4 round 5 round 7 round 8 we need to figure out only rounds 3 and 6 out of the 8 rounds 6 are in the bag nice round 6 think about round 6 nothing is filled in maybe we'll have some joy here right round 3 3 gaps are there one is going up so this is going up by two one of these has to go down by two okay we can come to that we'll come and sit on that let's think about round six now for the time being and so seven goes to four so it's going to be down and down and 13 goes to 12 can we go to 11 and then 12 or go to 12 and then stay at 12 it is not 13 it to be, because then the maximum would have been given it's either 12 or 11 right like when this is either 5 or 6 right? 10 goes to 12 10 can stay at 10 and come to 12 that's not possible because 10 would have been given 10 can go to 12 and stay at 12 that's not possible because 12 is the maximum or this means this one should have been 11 it cannot be less than 10 because you're going to 12 the next step either 10 that's not possible or 12 that's not possible or 11 11 is the one that's possible 10, 11, 12, 10 could be again 11, 12 or 12, 12, 13 is the maximum. This is 11 or 12. This is 6 or 5. This is 11 or 12. Nice. Nice. This is plus 1. So there's one victory here one loss it could be a, a victory here and a loss here or this cannot be a loss so this was a victory win and loss can these two have been draw can be 10 and 13 that's not possible so this is this here should be a loss and this here should be a win 10 going to 11 is a possibility that means two victories for the 11 this is plus one this is plus one should be minus one six minus one twelve that means next round 
11 goes to 12, 11 goes to 12, 6 goes to 4, 12 stays as 12. That's not possible. If one number stays as it is, there's got to be one more number that stays as it is. That's not happening. So this is not possible. So this doesn't go to 11. This goes to 12. This is plus 2. This is plus 1. This should become fine, offsetting that plus 2. This stays as it is. This should be 12. So it should be 12, 11, 5, 12. 12 stays as 12, 12 stays as 12. That would have been a draw. 10 becomes 11, 7 becomes 5. So 11 becomes 12, 5 becomes 4. This is a win and loss. That is That works perfectly. This is plus 2, minus 2, plus 1, minus 1. That works. So we filled round 6 also. Which is 12, 11, 5, 12. Brilliant. Let's go here. Suresh won and Pulak and Ritesh lost. Suresh won. You're saying here this is the win. Ritesh lost, that's for sure. Pulak, this is the maximum, so this is a loss here. So there's a win, loss, loss, two losses. This is, you should have been a win. Okay. This goes to either 11 or 12. If it goes to 12, let's say, let's say this goes to 12. Okay. Then there's a 12 going to 11 here, 10 going to 12 here. Two losses plus two minus two. This should have become a seven. This should have become an eleven. This is plus two. This is plus two. This is also plus two. So minus two and minus two. Nice. Eleven stays as eleven. Twelve stays as twelve becomes eleven. Seven becomes six. Ten becomes twelve. This is an issue. This can't happen like this. If it were, this were twelve, ten going to twelve, then this is a plus two. This is a plus two. There are two plus two. There should be two minus twos. If that were the case, then this stays the same. This is down one, down one, up two. That's not possible. One score alone cannot stay the same. This is not the case, which means this should have been 11. This is a plus two. This is a plus one. We should have a minus one and a minus two. So either this is this goes to 11 and that goes to eight. Or this goes to 12 and that goes to seven. It goes to 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. That works. That is the only scenario possible because this is 11, 11. There's definitely an increase there. This is the right answer. This is what we are going with. Because 10 goes to 11, 11 stays as 11. One more should stay. I guess this has to be 11, 11, 8, 10. We are through. We should add the matchups as well. Matchups are more straightforward. First game, P and Q play, R and S play because it's up, down, up and up. 10 goes to 10 and 8, 8 and 10. So P versus R, Q versus S, that fills there. Minus 2, plus 2, plus 1, minus 1. P versus S, R versus Q, that we have filled in. Next one, these two stay as it is, P versus Q, R versus S. We have filled this also, with that we can fill the remaining. Would it Q play in round 7? P versus S, Q versus R, we can fill from bottom onwards. This we've already filled, 12, 5 and 12. Already filled this, this is the whole grid. Again, super tough set. I had a real, 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 real tough time, super tough time trying to get a handle on this. Every single element was tricky. Uh, uh, putting everything together, filling this up finally, and getting grappling with the numbers, thinking about a plus one offsetting a minus one, plus two offsetting a minus two. Where could it be? Zero, zero. Incredibly tough. I had a tough whole time. I had a tough time putting these two as 11 and 11, which was which in hindsight I shouldn't have had. This is more than 10 that I know, because it, the minimum is 10. It cannot be 12, so I should have put 11 and 11 straight up. If this one being filled as 11 and 11, those two get filled. They get filled, I can fill 1, 2 easily, 4, 5 easily, 7, 8 easily. Then I should have gone to the remaining rows. I missed that trick, but super tough, super tough. Question should be straightforward. Amount of money that Ritesh had with him at the end of round 8. Round 8, Ritesh, 6 rupees. Done. 
amount of money Pulak had with him at the end of round 6. Pulak round 6. 12, exactly 12. Done. Ritesh at the end of round 4. Ritesh round 4. 6 rupees. How many games were played with a bet of 2 rupees? And in first round, there was 1. P versus Q, 1. P versus Q, this is the 1. In round 2, P versus R is 1 rupee. Q versus S, that is 2 rupees. In round 3, P versus S is 2 rupees. R versus Q is 1 rupee. In round 4, P versus Q, nothing they didn't play at all r versus s is minus 2 plus 2 4 round 5 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 both 1 rupee games plus 2 minus 2 p versus r here these two didn't play those two played with 1 rupee each that doesn't count 12 becomes 13 12 becomes 7 4 becomes 6 6 becomes 12 4 6 this one which is R versus S is 2 rupee game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The total number of games, 6 of them were 2 rupee games.